fun. Today, I'm going to be tackling Emile's fromage montage montage food scavenger hunt. What this is, is at the very back of your festival passport, you're going to see a list of different food booths around Epcot and it's gonna have an item listed. All these items are cheese items. Cheesy, there's gonna be cheese in it because fromage is cheese in French. And after you get each of these five items listed, you're gonna head over to Shimmering Sips and pick up not only just a prize, and a prize you can eat and then something that you can take home. Every time you get a new item, you're gonna get a stamp in your festival passport. So you gotta make sure that you keep this passport with you. You don't have to do every food item like in one day. You can come back and do one a day. You can do however you want, but you have to make sure you keep using the same passport. So I'm so excited to do this and to see what the prize is. And on top of it, after that, I'm gonna hit up the four Joffrey locations at the park. Each Joffrey location has a specialty beverage for the festival this year, like just like every festival. So I'm gonna try them all out, uh, you know, to tell you which one I think is worth getting. And uh, we're gonna just have a great day at Epcot Food and Wine. It's awesome, so let's do it. Let's go get into some hygiene. Starting out near Test Track, we are gonna start with Flavors of Fire. I actually had the item that I'm gonna get here last year. It was the corned beef corner root. It's smoked corned beef with crispy potatoes, cheese curds, pickled onions, and beer cheese fondue. I remember it being very tasty, so I am excited to try it again. Can I get four waters, please? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here is that corned beef corner root with those cheese curds on it. It smells amazing. I am ready to dig in. Found a nice shady spot to eat this. Oh my God, let's do it. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. I think it's better than it, I had it last year. The sauce that's on here, I assume it's like a cheese sauce, is so delicious. And the cheese curds themselves are so good. And the corned beef, corned beef is a little salty, but I, I'm actually really enjoying it because I eat a lot of corned beef. Like for some reason, that's just like in my life a lot. And um, a lot of times it doesn't come out like as great as it could be. And I, I'm like really impressed with this dish. Mm. Mm. Seriously, that sauce is ridiculously delicious. I wanna try it with one of their chips. I'm trying not to drop this everywhere. Oh, okay, that's the way to eat it. Put it on the chip. Eat the chip with everything on it. Got that crunch from the chip. Cheesiness from the cheese sauce and the cheese curd. And the saltiness from the corned beef. I'm giving it a chef's kiss. That is delicious. I'm, I, I remember I liked this last year, but not this much. I don't know what they did to it this year. But I love it. Across our mission space is our first Joffrey's cart. This one is offering the Coca Cold Brew. It's Kona Mocha topped with whipped cream and chocolate drizzle. And if you want it with alcohol, it comes with this um, cold blue, cold brew rather, liqueur, Irish cream. Here is that Coca Cold Brew. It is very frozen. It actually smells really nice. I'm really excited to try this one. All right, let's see this. Oh wow, that is very tasty, very mocha, but I love the frozen part of it. I mean, it's melting so, so fast, but it's a really nice flavor. I would say drink this as fast as you can. Well, not like that you would get a headache, but it's so good with the little bits of ice. Mm. That is really good. Obviously you have to like mocha, which is you know, very close to chocolate. I guess mocha is chocolate. Why did I never like think of this? Anyway, I'm enjoying this one very much. And I'm not like a huge fan of mocha, but to me, this isn't like real coffee. This is like a dessert coffee, but you know, that's always good too. Took a piece off of the cookie that comes with it. I guess you could have, 
No, you really can't use this as a straw. I thought like you could before, and then I was like, after I drank it, I was like, oh, well, I should have used this as the straw, but no, you really can't. Oh, that's really good. Just a cookie like with chocolate filling on the inside. Great with coffee. I like that one a lot, actually. I feel like super nauseous after that coffee because <laughs> it was just so chocolatey and so, so sugary. I'm gonna try to come back to life. Next up, we have the Hawaii booth. Um, unfortunately, I'm not getting a pork slider because I love those. That's not cheese, but we are gonna be getting the passion fruit cheesecake. Woo, thank you. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Here is the passion fruit cheesecake. It is like melting away. <laughs> I love cheesecake. This this looks a little uh, different than the like normal cheesecake, but I'm excited to try it. Let's see what the middle looks like. Ooh, this is looking really good. Oh, ooh, that is so good. I did not expect that to be like this good. The cream, uh, the cheesecake itself is like super like soft and creamy. And then this passion fruit on the top has such amazing flavor and it's like super saucy and combined it's like really nice. And there's a couple of like nuts on top. So it gives that little crunch. Mm. Wow. That is just absolutely fantastic. And it doesn't feel too heavy either because sometimes, you know, cheesecake, especially like where I love like Junior's cheesecake, which is a New York cheesecake thing. And it's, um, it's like super, super heavy, but it's amazing. This is not too bad. Like I keep taking bites out of it. And I feel like if I took as many bites out of a Junior's cheesecake, I would be done. But I can actually keep eating a little more of this. But I think this is like a really nice, um, dessert to share too. Um, it's not like too, too big, but it's also like if you're doing a lot of eating around, it's a, it's something that's like really nice to share with someone. Ooh, I would say like maybe get some coffee, get some coffee and then come and get this. Cause all I'm thinking right now is how much I really want coffee. Not like a crazy Joffrey's sugary coffee, like just a simple regular Joe coffee. As Marty Crane said, I'm a regular Joe and I like my Joe regular. That's how I feel too. Made it to Germany for our next cheesy treat and it is the, I, I refuse to pronounce it, but it's pasta gratin with ham, onions, and cheese. It, this is a classic here at Food & Wine. I, in my opinion, it is. It's delicious. I, um, I always uh, recommend if you've never had it before. It's kind of like a German version of mac and cheese and I'm ready for it. Here is my schnickenoodlin, schnickenoodlin, I apologize. I really am trying, um, <laughs> but pasta gratin, it's actually so hot. I have never in my life had something from an Epcot festival come out so hot. Um, and it's a million degrees, so this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Ooh, it is so cheesy on the inside. Let's do it. Here we go. That is so warm and cheesy and, and, and so full of flavor. Like the onions are really like coming out through here and with the cheese for some, like in my head, onions and cheese don't go together. But then I think about, and I have eggs with onions and cheese all the time. So I guess it does. And wow. I think what's really making it is how warm this is. This is really, really warm. And it's really, really like melty. This is so good. I haven't had this. And oh no, I did get this last year. I did. So I haven't had it in a year. And it definitely was not that good last year. But I'm and I'm pretty sure it all has to do with the temperature being, you know, making that cheese all melty. And I mean, food is better hot anyway, obviously. So um, wow. If you can get this warm, it's amazing. If you get it room temperature. It's very good still, but it's nothing like having it warm. 
made it over to the Canada Joffreys. You can hear right next door is the mill stage. The Jamiters are playing right now. So this location is offering a tropical tea breeze. It's an iced tea and frozen lemon with a splash of coconut syrup. Um, I'm hoping this is a little more refre refreshing. I'm hoping the syrup isn't too much, isn't too sweet, but let's give it a try. If you want to get this spiked, um, the cast member said, you can get any of these, but she said, get it with the Tito's, which I'm very pro Tito's. So I would also probably recommend that, but I recommend Tito's for a lot of things. So here is the tropical tea breeze. Again, it's iced tea and frozen lemon with a splash of coconut syrup. It looks very refreshing, especially on a very hot day like today. So let's give it a whirl. Pro tip, mix up your drinks when it's something like this. Mix it all up. Let's give it a try. That is interesting. It's definitely very refreshing. Um, you really can get that uh, coconut syrup. Um, it's a little too sweet for me. I'm not surprised at all. But I really like the lemon that's coming out of this. Um, I, I actually think this is like a really good um, drink. And I think that like if you wanted to do one of the Joffreys and you don't want like something super heavy or like, oh, like you know, I, I, I think this is like a really good light option. Um, but you do have to like coconut because you really do get that coconut flavor from the syrup. Our next booth is a new booth. This is called the Swanky Saucy Swine. And here we are going to be getting the crispy barbecue pork rinds with pimento cheese. I'm not the biggest fan of pork rinds. Like I don't hate them, but I'm not the biggest fan. So I'm interested in seeing how they are. Here are my pork rinds with the pimento cheese. It actually smells kind of good, kind of interested in seeing what this tastes like. I'm sure I'll love the cheese, because I love cheese, but I don't know, like, let's see the whole thing together. All right, it smells like barbecue chips, but they're pork rinds. Look at that. That does look pretty good. I literally had to use the side of my mouth to bite into this. I hate the pork rind. Maybe if it wasn't like that difficult to bite. But let me tell you something. This pimento cheese is delicious. Kind of just want to get a fork and eat the cheese, but maybe on its own it wouldn't be great. I do like the um, barbecue flavor of the pork rind with the cheese. It does taste really good. But the actual pork rind itself is so hard. I couldn't believe I couldn't bite it with my own front teeth. It's definitely different. Definitely something I, I've never had before at Disney World. <laughs> um, but you know what? I do appreciate it is low carb friendly. <laughs> Over next to Disney Traders is our next Joffrey's location. At this location, they're offering what they're calling the Double Trouble Chai. It says tantalizing iced chai with a single shot of espresso top with whipped cream and cinnamon. So for this drink, you can get any option here. They have Jameson Tito's, Kahlua, and Bailey's. They also did have, and I saw it before, a Jim Beam uh, like fire whiskey, and I don't see it now. But when I originally asked cast member, um, yesterday they did say that that was like the preferred choice but you can get whatever you want so normally all the four Joffrey locations has different specialty drinks but this one and the one over at the American Adventure are exactly the same except this one here has a shot of espresso so since they're basically the same I'm just gonna get the one with the shot of espresso because that has a little something extra. And they're really expensive. They're $6.39. And I'm not made of money. Like that's a lot of money for a, a chai like drink. And I'm like a little disappointed that that's what they decided to do instead of make something completely different. But let's give it a try. You're the most beautiful. Definitely. <laughs> Water's grabbing. Look how nice that looks. All right, here is that double chubble. <laughs> 
double trouble tie. Chai, it's dripping everywhere. It's getting all over the place. It's definitely trouble. Look at my hand, it's completely soaked. All right, let's give it a try though. It looks really nice. That's actually really nice. I do like chai tea and chai lattes though. Um, it's literally all over me. Uh, I think this is actually really good. It's not too, too sweet. I thought it was gonna be like really, really sweet, but it's really not that bad. Um, I, I think um, my chai, lo chai lovers will um, definitely enjoy this. Um, and so if you end up getting this, let me know which liquor you put in. Um, obviously I didn't put any in, but um, I think, I think that fire Jim Beam whiskey would probably be really good with this. It, it, it's a little thick because of the cream and all the milk, um, but it is really nice and the flavors are really good and it's not overwhelmingly sweet. So my amazing friend Andrea from Disney for Foodies, um, you, you have seen in that clip of the American Adventure version, she just had with me this version here, and she said it is exactly the same, except this one has a little more of a coffee flavor because of the shot of espresso. So I guess like if you're into the chai and you want that little 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 shot, this is the one to go to. If you don't, head over to the American Adventure. We have made it to the final place, the final food item of the Emile's Fromage Montage, and we are at the Grease Booth. The Grease Booth is located between Japan and Morocco, and here we're going to get the griddled cheese with pistachios and honey. I'm super curious about this, um, and I hope I hope it's good because I hope I'm very particular with my Greek food, being a Greek person. But I feel like this is going to be really good no matter what because it's cheese and griddled. I mean, I, I don't know how you could really mess this up. Thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. Here is the griddled grilled cheese. I'm going to just say one thing about this. This is $4.50 and it's pretty small and it's just some cheese with honey. I think it's a little overpriced, but um, you know. I hope it's good for the price. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, I got everything on here. I got the cheese. I got, as soon as I said that, I dropped it all. There we go. I got the cheese, I got the pistachios, and I got the honey. Last cheese item of the day. Ooh, ow. There was like a weird nut in there, and it was not good. But I do like this cheese. I love it with the honey. I'm not personally big on any type of nuts, um, but that's just me. I don't think that the pistachios really, the, you know, I'm, I'm, I appreciate nuts in certain things to make it, you know, texture. And I get what they're trying to do to give it that crunchy texture and, you know, change it up a little bit. But I don't know, it's not like really, not like really doing anything. And pistachio has like really nice flavor and I'm not like really getting any of that. The actual cheese and the honey itself is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. I still think 450 is like a lot for this. Like I get it's Disney prices, but I feel like they could have done 350. This is like one slice of cheese for $4.50 that has honey and you can get like a jar of honey for a dollar. So cost, I don't, I think it's overpriced. But if you really like love cheese, like I would love to put this on a charcuterie board. So if you don't know me yet, um, I am obsessed with charcuterie. Um, and I swear to God, like I, my husband and I were obsessed with charcuterie before it became a thing. We have been doing this for years and all of a sudden everyone started doing charcuterie boards. Um, <laughs> so we, we love just doing that like for dinner all the time. And I would have loved to put this with um, something that we would do on our charcuterie boards at home. Maybe I'll try to recreate this at home. I think this is really good. I just think it's a little overpriced, but I mean, overall, everything I've gotten today, except for the pork rinds, was delicious. Well, I will say the pimento cheese was fine. There was nothing wrong with that, but like you have to have it with something. I just did not like those pork rinds. And if you're a cheese lover, this is, this is something I think would be a really cool idea for you to do. 
Like, I love cheese. And I think it's, like, a fun little activity on top of it. Um, you know, just check to see if it works with your budget, depending on, you know, if you want to do it or not. Every All the prices are listed online. But overall, I think... I think like even if it wasn't a prize, I would get most of these items. So if you're a cheese fan, let me know in the comments if you would do a meals fromage montage. Well, I guess we have to see what the prize is first. Maybe then we'll know if it's worth it or not. I mean, for me, it's like worth eating cheese all the time because I eat cheese basically for every meal. So, I don't know. I think this was like definitely one of the better food scavenger hunts of all the festivals, for sure. Definitely better than the Garden Graves. That was ridiculous. It was like $7 for a piece of pineapple. Anyway. Alright. So that was good. I actually like ate like most of it. Like this is all I've left. I'm just kind of like taking the nuts off because it's not. I'm not really feeling it. But this is really good. I'm impressed. And now it's time to go get our prize. We need to take a quick pit stop in France before we get our prize because I don't normally stand on a soapbox <laughs> about anything um, but I have to because the fact that the warm beignet filled with three cheeses is not on the fromage montage and the pork rinds are is an absolute crime and I would like to start a petition to replace the pork rinds with the beignet from France and I'm going to prove it to you by getting online and showing you this magnificent cheesy bread. Okay. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah, I got you the thing. Can I give you the thing? Can I get a little bumpy? So be careful. It's still kind of on edges. All right. Thank you so much. Look at all this cheesy goodness. Three cheese. This thing came out so hot. Just kind of like how the uh, the noodle from Germany came out. Very, very hot. I'm ready. I also, for fun, got the creme brulee because even though it's not cheese, it's dairy. Honestly, I just really wanted the creme brulee and I'm gonna just show it to you anyway. <laughs> A big reason I decided to get the creme brulee was because these are both new items to the festival and um, I was already here, so I figured I'd try it. And now you guys can see a little bonus. You have got to be kidding me. Absolutely kidding me. Look at this. Look at this. Why is this not on the scavenger hunt? Let's get into it. It is time. Stop it. Oh. Okay. That cheese is unbelievable. It feels, there's like almost like a little sweetness to it. The bread itself, the beignet, is so fluffy. Like, look how fluffy. This is just the bread. This is just so warm and gooey. So delicious, so filling, super shareable. Um, would I say it's the best thing I ate out of every of the other fromage montage? Let me think about it. I think I still would put the corned beef ahead of this because there's meat on it. It makes it's a little bit more, but I would put this right after that and it's absolutely delicious and I really want to petition Disney to put this on the scavenger hunt and replace the pork rinds because that was literally the worst thing ever. I mean, again, pimento was fine, whatever, but I literally had to use the side of my mouth to eat that. Like that's ridiculous. <laughs> so if, if you believe that this should be on the scavenger hunt, comment below your thoughts and uh, maybe together we can get this changed. Who knows, who knows? <laughs> we could be hopeful. Super excited about this creme brulee because uh, it's a little different. I've never had anything like this. It ha contains alcohol. It, alcohol, it contains Grand Meunier. So I wonder if it's gonna like make this super different than regular creme brulee. I don't particularly like this. I think the actual creme brulee cream is really nice, but it just tastes like alcohol in my mouth. It's not very good. I really wanted this to be good. I love creme brulee. 
but the alcohol was like so overpowering. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you gotten this, what your thoughts were about this. I would love to hear other people's opinions personally. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Not for me. It is time to collect my prize. I am over at Shimmering Sips. It is across from Port of Entry. And it's not just a prize, it's a snack and a prize. And I'm very excited to get it. Last stamp. Yay! We did it! <laughs> yes. <gasps> I'm about to get my prize. And the. Here it comes, here's my prize. And then, this is Danielle. She's a cast member and she was at my Disney store in New York working there. We met a few weeks ago. And all of a sudden, she here she comes with my prize. She's here now. And she's like, oh, it's you. And I'm like, it's you. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Here's your prize. Thank you. This is the best prize ever. I'm glad I got to see you. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, after that amazing reunion with Danielle, like she literally appeared with my prize and we were like, what? Um, this is the prize for the Emile's Fromage Montage. It is a cheesecake ice cream and strawberry ice cream ice cream swirl with some cheesecake on top and some uh, crumbles, like cheesecake crust crumbles. And it actually looks so good. I love me some cheesecake. Let me some ice cream. Let's dig in. Oh, and also like how, how stinking cute is this cup? It's not actually real glass. It's a hard plastic, but it's so nice and I can't wait to take it home. All right, I'm very excited to eat my prize. I'm actually so excited to take this cup home. I think it is absolutely adorable. All right, I'm gonna try the cheesecake ice cream and the strawberry ice cream first. That was really good. That was really, really good. I think both flavors complement each other really, really well. I love strawberry ice cream. And sometimes cheese, I love cheesecake. Like cheesecake is one of my favorite foods of all time. But sometimes cheesecake flavored things taste super artificial and not very good. But I think that, that because this is mixed together, the swirl, it's like, it's a good combo. Gonna try it with the actual cheesecake. It is melting, oh my God. That's good. That is very good. That is a creamy piece of cheesecake. Like completely different than the Hawaiian cheesecake. This feels more like a New York style cheesecake. Really, really creamy, really, really good. Um, this ice cream is melting so fast, but wow. Wow, is that refreshing? And is it tasty? And I get to take the cup home and I'm really, really excited. It's really cute. Well, my dudes, we ate a lot of food today, a lot of cheese, and we drank a lot of drinks. I want to give my final ranking of everything we had today, so let's start with Emile's Fromage Montage. And number five, no surprise, those pork rinds. Awful. The worst thing ever. Um, I got the pimento cheese was fine. It was nothing to go crazy about. It was fine. The pork rinds, horrible. Um, number four, I'm going to put the cheesecake from Hawaii. There was nothing really wrong with it, but um, and it was, it was really, really tasty. But I think just everything in this category is just like super good minus the pork rinds. So that one's going next. Then I would put the cheese from Greece. I really did love it, um, but it was a little simple, um, but it was super, super tasty. Next, I'm gonna put that noodle gratin from uh, Germany. It came out so hot. It was so creamy, so good. It just had amazing flavors in it. Um, it was definitely the best time, best version I ever had of that. And number one is that corned beef corner root from Flavors from Fire. Chef's Kiss was amazing. Absolutely delicious. That cheese sauce on it. It was like, it, I don't remember it being that good. The, the corned beef was so tender and the cheese curds were so yummy. It was just awesome. Um, I think personally that this food scavenger hunt is worth it if you are a cheese fan. Obviously my lactose intolerant people, if you want to do it, take that pill and, <laughs> and then do it. But I think, um, especially comparing it to like the garden grays from Flower and Garden, um, this one is definitely worth it. I know, I, I think that the prize is so cute. Where is it? I just cleaned out my glass. I think this is just the cutest thing ever. And the treat that came inside of it was so delicious. I thought it was so good. Um, and then on top of it, I just, it, you get to try like really, really good food and then you get a prize at the end. I think it's always like a fun thing you could do with people. Um, and it's just like a cute activity. Now when it comes to the job, <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna put the um, that chocolate chocolate one that we got next to Mission Space in last place. It was like tasty, but it was so thick, so heavy. I felt super sick afterwards. Like honestly, I couldn't really have that much of it. I thought it was just like too much. It was like literally a milkshake. It was just not really for me. Next, I'm gonna put that chai um, tea latte type thing. I thought it was pretty tasty. It was a little too thick after a while. That first initial taste was. The, um, the chai was really a nice flavor, and actually the espresso shot didn't make it too, um, too bitter. It was actually a nice coffee flavor. Number one, I'm going to put the, um, the iced tea with the coconut syrup. I wouldn't get it again, but out of the three that I got, I think that one is probably my favorite. I, I know that one is my favorite. It was super more refreshing than the other options. Um, it was still a little too sweet for my taste, but I do like the coconut. I thought the flavors worked really well together, and on a hot day like today, it was really refreshing. So anyway, that's my take on the Joffrey's uh, food and wine specialty items and the Emil's fromage montage. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that comes on this channel. And follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinx. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.